In this session, we will see about the next subtype in the manufacturing that is NC assembly. So, I am going to file new and here I am selecting manufacturing and the subtype let me go with NC assembly. And this NC assembly is used to learn about the lathe and mill machines. So, here we are going to manufacture the components with the help of the lathe and mill machines. And in the software, generally we are going to specify the tool path and when the tool is moving that particular path, automatically a program will be generated and that program you can convert into CNC machine language and later on you can edit it. And at last, if you connect that to a CNC machine, according to that program, even the CNC machine will be worked. So, this is how we are going to have the output from the programs, that is, the Pro CNC or NC assembly. So, here we are going to see this Pro Manufacturing NC assembly and we will be learning about the lathe and mill machines. First, we will deal with lathe. What are the operations we have related with lathe? and how to specify the tool path for those operations and at last how the program will be created for the motion of the tool so all these things we are going to deal first then later on we will be working with mill machine now let me go to manufacturing NC assembly and here I am specifying the name of the file as lathe because as I told first we will work with lathe machine I'll specify the name as lathe and then you can go with OK so, here you can see this is the main window and here also we have the menu manager. NC assembly front, NC assembly right, NC assembly top and here I am going to use the same menu manager to work with this particular manufacturing NC assembly. And even here also we need to place the reference model and workpiece. For that you can go with manufacturing model. But first let us do one thing, we will prepare one reference model required for the lathe and then we will see how to assemble that here in this NC assembly. I am going to new file, I am going to part file here and let me specify the name. I am assigning some name here that is lathe reference. Use the name as lathe ref and go with OK. Now this is the part file, first I am going to revolve. I am directing here the front plane of the sketching plane. Then I am placing one horizontal center line. Then let me draw here the section. Then I am specifying this value as something 40. Then I accept it and see the result. Now even I want some holes. So let me place the holes with the help of extrude. I am going to extrude cut. And here I am going to draw one circle. And I am taking the diameter as 50. I am going up to the back side surface. So remove material and accept it. So this is the hole. And we will take the pattern of this hole. So I am going to pattern. Let me take the axis pattern and accept it. Now hold together. This is the reference model which I am going to use for that lathe. So save it. Now let me close the window. And already here we have that lathe manufacturing window and in this now I am going with the first step called manufacturing model. So go with manufacturing model and say assemble, select the reference model. Now here I am selecting that lathe ref and say open. And even here also I can go to default and accept it. So this is how the reference model is placed. Then next we will go with workpiece. And generally on lathe we are going to use cylindrical work pieces. So here also I am going to prepare one cylindrical work piece. For that I am going to create work piece. And I am giving the name as lathe work piece. Then go with solid, protrusion. 
let me prepare using revolve so I'm going to revolve placement define and here I'm selecting this front plane select the front plane Then let me place first one horizontal center line and here I want to revolve this rectangle with respect to that horizontal center line. Accept it. So this is about the work piece preparation. Now we can go to done. So with this the first step is completed. And after completing the first step, now next we have to go with manufacturing setup. And this manufacturing setup is used to select the machine and the machine zero position. Now let me go to manufacturing setup. First we have to select here the machine. So I am going with open. Right now you can see there is no machine. I am going with browser open. And here I am selecting the lathe machine. Now we can go with apply and close this. Now next we have to go with machine zero. And here machine zero means we have to select a coordinate system. Right now there is no coordinate system to select and actually I want to place the coordinate system on this right side surface. So before going to this machine 0, first let me prepare here one coordinate system. So I am going with coordinate system from the datum features toolbar. Then I am placing the coordinate system using this right plane that is the right side surface, control, assembly top plane that is NC assembly top plane. Then using control I am selecting one more reference that is NC assembly friend. So at the intersection of these three references, we are going to have a coordinate system exactly on that right side surface of the workpiece. And here the tool is going to move along the z-axis and generally the movement will be along the negative of z. And I am going to move the tool from right side towards left side. But if you see here, we have x-axis. I want to shift the z-axis towards x because the tool is going to move as I told along Z axis. So you can do one thing, you can go to orientation and instead of X you can change here to Z. Now exactly we got the Z direction in which the tool has to move. So create it then go with OK. Now let us take here the actual one. You can see again we got the machine tool setup. Already we have decided the machine tool setup. You can close this. Now let me go with the operation setup. Then I am going with machine 0. Now I have created here the coordinate system which I am going to select. So go with machine 0 and let me switch on here the coordinate system and you can select this coordinate system which we have created. Select it. The next we have to go with a retract surface. We have to create here one retract plane and the purpose of the retract plane is every time after passing or after completing one pass along the z axis. Now the tool has to come in the reverse direction, that is it has to come to the back position. So after completing the workpiece, how much distance it should come from the workpiece, that distance you can define here by going with retract. It is just like getting back, getting back from the workpiece in order to start the next pass. So I am going with here retract surface, then let me go with along z axis and here I am specifying the z depth. Let me take the Z depth something 60 then see the preview. So now we can see this is the datum plane which is created. So every time the tool is going to move back from the workpiece to a distance of 60 that is up to this datum plane. So this is called retracting plane. So create it along the Z depth then go with OK. Now with this we have completed the operation setup. Now we can apply this and you can go with OK. So this is the second step. Then you can go to done. Then we have the third step that is nothing but directly machining. So now we can start the machining. But how to start the machining and how to go with one by one process, these all things we will see in the next session.